Why do we hate to fail? So the other day I was playing with my Duolingo on my smartphone and I noticed that it just threw assignments at me that I didn't have no clue. And I was really feeling frustrated at it because he didn't provide any, any clear instructions what I should actually be doing or any, any grammatic rules. But I liked it. That's what I liked about it. So I started wondering, why do we actually hate to fail? I hated that moment of failing. And it's kind of interesting because it's more or less how our brain was wired because we are living in the wilderness. We are living with all the beasts and all the dangers that were, you know, preying on us that we will kill us. But now those dangers are probably not here, at least not in the same sense. Our dangers is not somebody will eat us today or tomorrow. Our dangers are more bit specific. And death, although close, is not around the corner. It's across the street. So why do we still fear the the failure? Why do we still hate the failure so much? Why do we feel miserable so much as we fail? Well, our brain hasn't evolved that much. Our brain stayed the same, especially this our lizard brain that handles our flight or fight mechanism. It didn't evolve that much because there was just not so much time ago that the danger was imminent and present at will. Can we change our brain? Well, it's a bit tricky. Our brain is actually hardwired to do that. So what we can do is accept that this awkward, unpleasant feeling of when we fail is a, what when we're learning is actually not pleasant. And by just identifying the unpleasant moment per se, that I'm not ha in a happy place now that I have failed this assignment, it releases the tension of it. It releases so much of the negative emotion that you hold in yourself. And that's part of the success story. And then the second part is you have to anticipate it, not in a way that you dread it, but in a way, oh yeah, that will happen and then I will be miserable a bit and then I will move forward because that will shorten the time for you to before you try again. And fail again, of course. And the third thing is you cannot mitigate the whole thing because first, your brain is wired that way and second, it kind of helps you once you accept it. It kind of helps you that you go from the state of not succeeding towards the goal, the positive feeling or the neutral feeling, so to speak. It's kind of a motivational thing in your brain. So while it doesn't work perfectly in our common modern environment, it still can be of benefit that it forces you to try again and learn again. Because if you stand still, you're going to rot away. So you have two options. Either you run away with a pity party and you die off as a dried branch, or you try again and become better. Perhaps you're going to have a scar, a new experience that's miserable, but you're going to come out stronger. So is your brain, do we hate failure? Is it something we could live without? Perhaps, or perhaps not. It's a tricky thing with our mind because... If we didn't have this negative emotion about failure, what will that mean about us? Are we going to be in a happy place all the time? Will we even distinguish the unreal and real happy place? Because, you know, it's all about the reference point. I've seen colleagues and friends and people who are actually doing really shitty jobs in a really shitty environment. But their life is as much miserable as perhaps mine because I have a different reference point and I've been in different really bad situations. But once you move to a different situation, you adapt and you adapt to a new positive. And this new positive becomes a neutral for you. And everything that's a slight variation of that is either positive or negative. Although that perhaps your negative, so to speak, is perhaps somebody's positive. But in my mind, in my reference point, it just means a negative. People are tricky that way. We all are. But that's why perhaps we should you know, consider sometimes that we are more lucky than other people that have a lower reference point of happiness or neutral. But it's hard to adjust because our brain is a bit tricky. So we, could we work without hating the failure? I doubt it. Actually, I doubt it very much. Although I hate failing as much as anybody else. Perhaps I hate failing even more than other people. 
But do I think that we could be better off if somebody just magically cut off that part of our brain? No, I don't think so. I think it's part of us, our story. It's part of our personality. And I think it's probably part of what stimulates us, motivates us, and makes us develop or invent new things as a society. That's my point on it. So if you think different, drop down a comment. I would love to see what your insight on this is.